What's up guys, welcome to another video at Movement Mechanics and today we are going to post some myths regarding your abs. Now, there are lots of videos saying that you can get abs in 21 days, but are those videos true? Is it possible physiologically to get abs in 21 days? So we are going to post some myths and I'm going to give you various exercises which are not only going to help you build those six pack abs, but also do the role of the abs which they should do which is stabilization of the spine. We are going to understand various exercises such as pal of press, dead bugs etc which are not the traditional exercises such as crunches or leg raises or stuff like that but these exercises are more functional in nature and are going to allow the core muscles to do the exact job which they should do which is stabilization of the spine. So let's dive deep inside this topic and understand some movement mechanics. Now there are various channels on the YouTube which are suggesting that they can give you abs in just 22 days but are these channels telling the truth? The answer is of course not. Now getting abs in 21 days is impossible physiologically. You need to undergo strenuous amount of training and people do training for years and years to get those ripped six pack abs. So if you are going to go with those channels and say that you are going to get abs in 21 days, you are going to go wrong. So there are various considerations which you need to take when you are training for abs. First is your nutrition. Nutrition plays an imperative role when you are talking about gaining abs. The reason is you are talking about gaining muscles on your stomach and whatever food you are going to eat is going to reflect on your stomach. Hence your nutrition status has to be very clean and very nutritious uh, and you should be eating very much nutritious food all the time. Secondly, you need to know about your hydration levels. Now water plays an imperative role whenever we are talking about exercise but especially when we talk about gaining those deep core muscles. The reason is if you have got enough amount of water intake that means you are recovered enough or the body functions are going to happen properly. Hence you need to have a good hydration status all day long and on consistent basis. Thirdly, which is the most imperative part is your fat percentage. Now your fat percentage has to be very low, lower than at least 12% to have those ripped visibility in your abs. Now how to get rid of your excess fat is the strength training, the cardio training but also maintain a diet which has got a caloric deficit most of the time. Now it is it is a debatable topic regarding about caloric deficit but mostly you need to have a caloric deficit diet for a certain amount of time to get those abs visible and reduce that excess fat onto your stomach. So the first exercise which we are going to talk about is a pal of press. Now a pal of press is an anti-rotational exercise that means it prohibits that excess rotation when you are doing the exercise and hence it is going to target your internal and external oblique which are going to cause that rotation. Now we are going to talk about a mixture of pal of press and a dead bug. So here the dead bug is an anti extension exercise which means it is going to prohibit that excessive extension which is going to cause at your spine. Hence it is an anti extension exercise. So we have to combine two exercises which is the pal of press and the dead bugs. So as you can see in this exercise I have taken again the cable as my resistance and I am lying in a supine position and doing a simple dead bug. So role of this exercise is to again engage the lateral muscles which is your internal external oblique and also engage that anterior muscles which is your transverse abdominis or your rectus abdominis which is going to show your six pack abs. So in this exercise you have to make sure your, that your spine is continuously touching the ground. There is no arch in your back hence that is what is anti extension. So you have to make sure that this arch is prohibited and you are fulfilling the role of the dead bug. Also this is going to act as a two way exercise because of the pal of hold over here. Now this is going to not only target your obliques but also your transverse abdominis and hence you are going to get two benefits from one exercise. Thirdly, we are going to use the simple dead bug but with the help of the dumbbells. Now you can use this exercise with a swiss ball at your knees or utilizing dumbbells or just with a normal band at your ankles so that you get that excessive resistance. Again the goal of the exercise has to be similar that prohibiting that lower back arch and maintaining that neutral spine and touching the spine all the time by engaging your anterior portion of the core and making sure that your core is active at the entire exercise. Now here you have to make sure that you are doing the exercise in an alternative manner. That means if your left leg is going forward make sure your right hand is going backward. So this exercise is going to create that cross uh, cross linkage in your body and activate that oblique sling, anterior oblique sling and you are going to doing this exercise with an alternative hand, alternative leg manner. It is going to activate your oblique sling and you are going to get benefits in the entire oblique sling of, of your body. 
Moving forward, we are going to look after the Swiss ball rollouts. Now, Swiss ball rollout is an anti-extension exercise targeting your rectus abdominis muscle and it is also going to play a slight part in being an anti-rotational exercise in order to prohibit that rotation of your shoulders by engaging your internal and external oblique. So, this exercise is again, we have to make sure that you are maintaining a neutral spine and your hips are in line with the spine. The hips shouldn't go up or down that that means the hip shouldn't go in extreme flexion or in extreme extension so that you maintain a neutral spine and keep the exercise an anti-extension exercise so that you activate your rec abdominis fully all right so the final exercise which we're going to look is an swiss ball plank to push up now doing a plank to push up on swiss ball is a very difficult task because of the instability of the swiss ball making it a more intense exercise so if you aren't able to do the plank to push up on a swiss ball make sure you are doing it on the normal floor so that that instability component is removed and you can engage your core muscles properly now if you are doing it on the swiss ball the goal of the exercise is going to stay the same which is prohibiting that anti-rotation now when you are doing a plank to push up when you are going down when you are tend to come up you are going to deviate on the uh, side where which is uh, which is stable onto the floor or onto the swiss ball and hence that is going to cause a rotation on the side which is up in the air so you have to prohibit the rotation by engaging the lateral aspect of the core and making it an anti-rotational exercise now again this is not a purely anti-rotational exercise but also it is going to have some extent of anti-extension because you need to maintain a neutral spine neutral hip position as well not over flexion or not hyper flexion or hyper extension of the hips so that you maintain the neutral spine making it an anti-extension exercise as well now there are various sets of exercises apart from the exercise which you just look which are going to help you do the job for the core which is stabilization of the spine and maintaining that posture and also getting those biscuits into your stomach so if you want other functional exercises apart from the traditional exercise make sure you drop that in the comment section if you have loved this video make sure you hit the like the share the subscribe as well as the notification bell icon so that you never miss a video when i'm uploading a new one all right guys see you in the next one